excuse my language. I love the business side of comedy as much as I love the performance side, which I know makes me a, like a freak, but it's called show business. Okay, you got the show, then you got the business. You wanna know the real story? Like Chris Rock said, the great thing about being a comic, it's like being a blonde with big boobs. You get a, a lot of perks. I'm like, oh, this is great, this is great. Okay, so what are we doing? Hey, this is uh, Lewis Johnson. I have been doing comedy for as long as you have been alive. This is true. This is true. I'm, uh, more, than, um, I'm more than 30 years into this business. People never believe the real story. The real, sto the real reason I started, um, uh, I, when I first started out, I started right out of high school. Um, I was working uh, McDonald's and Taco Bell at the same time, and I lost both of those jobs within the same space of the one week. And because I thought I was that cool guy. I was that guy who you show up to, the, uh, to get your food, and I got my paper hat to the side, and the collar's up, and I'm like, hey, can I get your order and your phone number? And like, please, just get my tacos, and shut up, give me my food. So I got fired from both of those jobs in the space of one week, and I didn't know I had gotten fired. The, the manager, said, manager said, just get out of here. And I didn't know I had gotten fired, so I walked down and went to a place called the Comedy Works, which is a world-famous comedy club. And it's one of the best comedy clubs in the country. I went to the comedy, I walked into the Comedy Works in Denver, Colorado. I was 18. Um, you can't do that now, folks. There's a guy on stage, and he's playing to a small audience, and... Um, He's not doing well. And at one point he puts his shirt up over his head and he starts beating himself on the stomach singing My Country Tis of Thee. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, you know, 18, about to turn 19. And I'm like, well, I don't want to do that. But I want to try this comedy thing. So I went in the next day, uh, met a guy named Vince Curran. Vince signed me up. I went home for two weeks and I wrote what I thought would be funny stuff. I entered a contest uh, for Showtime, and Showtime had a promotion called Showtime's Funniest Person in America. Only, only two other people who uh, won that was an actor, a great actor named Phil Nee, and a woman named Ellen DeGeneres. Because that means, you know, it's, it's, we, have all, we have a lot in common, you know? Yeah. You know, we both love comedy and we both got a great love for women. So what I, I learned from the old guys a long time ago. Um, you never close off a bit. You never close off a bit. Because when you close it off, then you're closing yourself off to the possibilities. The top of the page might be the premise in one joke. And then what I do is I turn the page. Because I don't want to write it and then skip down a few lines to start the next joke. I want that page, that empty space on the page, to force me make me write some, to make me write some more stutter. But I like to write stuff out first because there's more of a connection between your hand and your brain. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can sit there and type all you want, mm -hmm. but the connection between your hand and your brain is a lot. I mean, Seinfeld wrote all of, um, all of the Seinfeld episodes on a yellow pad with a blue ink pen. Because a lot of guys have this belief that, oh, you got to be on stage as much as possible because that teaches you. No, sometimes you learn just as much from watching as you do from doing it. Yeah. But they were like, man, I see comics now going to the club like a bunch of girls, a pack of girls on a, on a bachelorette party. It's like, no, I'll go into the back and I'll just sit in the back and just watch because I'm trying to I'm trying to learn because there's a step that comedy takes. Every couple of years there's a different step. And it's, a, it's like a little stutter step. And if you don't catch it, then you're going to get in this loop and you, don't, you won't be able to catch up. Because when I was coming up, I was taught to um, do the joke, be the joke. Uh -huh. yeah. If you're going to tell a joke about your grandmother, you know, you can't just say, so my grandmother said to me, baby, what's wrong with you? You have to say, my grandmother said to me, baby, what's wrong with you? You have to become your grandmother. It means, uh, it means everything. Comedy is, um, 
It's uh, freedom of expression. It's being your own boss. It's uh, sleeping late if you want to. Um, it's, um, it's, it's what you make of it. Oh, it's real easy. You go to uh, ComedianLewisJohnson.com. That's ComedianLewisJohnson.com. That's L-O-U-I-S Johnson.com. Or you can go to Twitter, which is at Lewis Johnson. Our um, Snapchat is Mr. Johnson, J-O-N-Z-U-N. Or what is the other one? I, I, got, I have YouTube. But if you go to ComedianLewisJohnson.com, all the links for everything I have is right there on the page.